show. Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. This is episode 26. It has been a while. It has been two weeks. No, 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 no. Since your last confession? Yes, it has. Okay. No, since the podcast, it's been a while. It It has been been. a little bit. We uh, we've had some things come up. Couldn't get together. We're together now. So since the last time we met off the top of my head, I don't think the podcast listeners, if they don't know already, know that you are expecting baby number two. Baby number two. Baby That's right. Number two. So congrats to uh Danny and Jenny. That's me. Number two. Oh, baby number two. Yes. I thought you had a second update. Okay. Oh, and well, and my brother just had a baby as <laughs> oh, well. Oh, okay. So shout out to old Tombo and Amanda. Happy birthday, baby Thomas. <laughs> Not his name. Not his name, but it's his middle name. <laughs> Uh, anything else? I don't think so. We got uh we'll get back into bad people. We're gonna get back into bad people. Yeah, we got, we got uh, uh top five scary movies this week. It is. We're getting Going. around to old pookie season. Getting close to Halloween. Ooh. Yep. So uh cool. we're gonna do dad jokes again. We are, we are. Yeah, that went over really well. We had about a hundred likes on that last video. So you wanna do bad people? Yeah, what's the score update? Uh it is four Mikey. Four Danny and three <clears throat> Danny B. And we, once again, we still don't have a punishment for this one. We don't. We talked about doing something spicy. We talked about that. And we also talked about that electrode beer <laughs> challenge. Oh, you yeah. To, you put the was it's on your arm, right? The electrodes on your arm. Yeah, and you have to try to drink the beer without spilling it. Muscle stimulators oh. to get your uh, to get your muscles going. So that's what the gym's for. That, but just try not to lose here. Yes. Okay, you ready? After you eat a spicy chip. Ready. Question one. Who is most likely to stay in on the weekends? Boy, I got my answer like immediately. Mm-hmm. This one's a little tougher y- for me. Y'all ready? Mm-hmm. Y'all ready for this? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Three, two, one, shoot. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Can't even be mad at that. Yeah, so I picked Danny B. I also picked Danny B. I picked Danny D because Danny D has children now. Mm-hmm. Mikey but, doesn't have children. But you still manage to get away sometimes. Mm-hmm. Not saying you don't. Okay. <laughs> well, you, you but lost. you don't. Anyway. Oh, huh, I'll score our <laughs> Who stayed up later when we had your birthday? I don't remember that. You went home early. That's the last one there. Where? For Mike? Yeah. Mike left before you at my birthday at Ethel's. I was there past Dan. I'm sure. <laughs> well, geez, but come I, on. But I was there an hour and a half before you. That doesn't matter. I was still busy. <laughs> Just ask. Make a list. Oh, no. Okay. Wait, wall square. Mm-hmm. Square up. Question two. Who was most likely to skip school? Hmm. That's a tough one. That is a tough one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think I got mine. I think I got mine. All right. Three, two, two one. one, shoot. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> so Danny and I both voted for Mike. Uh-huh. I picked Danny B. Yeah, I picked Only you. because you skipped football that day and then you got caught. And I did skip football, but that was in summer. That was in the summertime. Oh, I just assumed it was for school. <laughs> Regardless, <laughs> you're a skipper. Yeah, I picked you because uh, your mom was more lenient. How dare, you. How dare you? Amy would whoop my ass. Sorry, mom and dad. I skipped a lot. If you don't know that, I'd <laughs> like to change my answer. <laughs> okay. Senior year. They had, us, they had us as like teacher's aides. They wouldn't let us be. Uh, oh, yeah. They right. wouldn't. That was our senior year. They took away half days. Yeah. They made you like you had to select a class or like a help. Yeah. So thing. I was like in drawing and I was a teacher's aide for six hours of the day. Yeah. We did half days. At my school. Yeah, they took them away and then they gave but we, them. But you had to go to work. And then they gave them back. Oh, did they? They gave them back the next year. They might have had it out for us. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll take the lead on that one. Final question. Who's most likely to know exactly what to say when you're feeling sad? Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Uh, I have my answer. I think I got mine. Ready? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Three, two, one, shoot me so make me a good person yeah it does okay makes you a bad people mm-hmm. <laughs> super bad people there <clears throat> i think it makes me a bad people because i didn't get a single vote <laughs> <laughs> well we you after? you avoid anything emotional well, that's true yeah. i don't have emotions yeah uh i voted for danny d 
I voted for Danny D. And you voted for Danny B. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I just think you're better with uh, talking to people and uh, shut up, dude. Associating. <laughs> <laughs> Score update uh, five. I have five. Four. Okay. Made a little progress there. We all, jugged. We all took one. Jugged, 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 jugged. So I've got a, a quick little funny story here. Hey, so uh, Amanda and I, my wife, were, uh, were quoting out decks, trying to get a replacement deck. Can you pronunciate that? Uh huh. I did. What who? was it? You mean enunciate? Yeah. Deck. There it is. Because who doesn't want a bigger deck? That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Yeah. Chesterfield. Well, they're also hard to get a hold of. Yes. Ah. That's what I've heard. So anyway, we have this company come out and uh, they send this guy. I mean, he's got to be almost 80 years old. Knocks on the door. <laughs> let him in. He comes walking through the house. I take him out back. Shoot him. No. Oh. <laughs> he's all <laughs> yelling. Down. He, he just, he looks at the deck. He goes, uh, hmm. Huh. <laughs> Doesn't even pull his tape measure out. Just goes, yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to pass. <laughs> <laughs> I go, well. And he's like looking down still, and I'm just like, "What is happening?" <laughs> and, and confirmed with you that he was still coming out to give you a quote yeah, the night before. The night before he calls me, he's like, "Hey, uh, just making sure we're still on." I'm like, "Yeah, we're." Still this on. is the guy they and send he, out as a and, company, and he texted me too. This guy texted me, so I didn't know what to expect. You know, right, the guy comes texted over. him, gave him an emoji. He's thinking, "Okay, young fella coming Gives me over." Give a thumbs up. That's it. Hmm. Young fella coming over. Going, <laughs> I'm gonna pass. He goes. uh, I go, oh, okay. I said, we already have other bids. Uh, what's the problem? He's like, yeah. Ah, we're just going to pass. He wouldn't give you an explanation. He wouldn't give me an explanation. So then I just start opening my my screen door to go back inside, and he just starts slowly walking around the outside of the house to leave. Wow. <laughs> that is awkward. <laughs> you want to give that company a plug? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't. Uh... If you're looking for Dex, uh, text me, and I'll tell you who not to call. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> I've never heard of someone coming out to give you a bid and just said, no, we're going to pass. We're going to fire you as a client. (laughs) And if I were to play devil's advocate, I know like all this construction stuff has been super slammed and busy for like two years. So maybe they just hired this guy to like the company saves face. Like they still walk or like they still will come to your house or whatever, but they're like, nah, they're just so busy that they, they hired this guy to be like, oh, we're going to turn business down. Like they have so many jobs, but even if they have like so much to do, like highball it. Well, yeah, like, sure. It doesn't make you look good. Don't say no. He's like, yeah, yeah. I'm just not. Uh, nah, we're gonna pass. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I've never heard of that. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think they did that. <coughs> Apparently, well, they do. Have a better deck, I guess. That's that's what I want. Yeah, well, <laughs> he's trying, right. to, get trying to get. That's one. what I asked for. Uh-huh. He said no. He said no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He said no. He Should said, we... "He said, what is this? Thirty years old? We can't give you better one than that. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best I can do. Thirty years, <laughs> aged." A little spit shine. Uh, roll into top five. Sure. Should we? Sure. You want to stall a little bit? Shall nope. we? Nope. Top five this week, guys. Spooky season. We've got Halloween right around the corner. Um, so we went with top five scary movies. Now, this is subjective here, um, but it, it, it has to be in the horror genre. Yes, yeah, so I wasn't sure well, what you wanted. Excuse horror. me. Horror. Mm-hmm. Horror genre. Okay. 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 Just make sure we're all on the mm-hmm. same. Gotcha. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you guys want to like uh, what movies scared you, scariest, or like or that you, which liked you enjoyed. The most. I did, I did, I did like nostalgia plus like what was terrifying to watch. I'll just tell you now, I'm a I'm a scaredy cat, <laughs> so uh, scary movies just Beetlejuice are there. not for me. No, I haven't seen that's too scary. Is that count the genre? <laughs> I stay, I steer clear. Uh, yeah, okay. so uh, top five scary movies this week. I mean, Fox and the Hound was kind of scary, that chase scene at the end. I'll give it to you. <laughs> that wasn't. Was that Cable Guy? Yeah, that was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who wants to go first? I don't want to go first. Okay. You want to go? I'll get mine out of the way. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. I don't know how you guys are going to accept this. Uh, <clears throat> uh, number five, I went with The Descent. Great pick, Mike. Yeah. Oh, Is that the one that was filmed in St. Louis? I don't know. Like, I think so. That wasn't the one that was like underground in sewers and stuff. It that, was in a cave. Know. It was based. I mean, it could have been shot like that. I don't know. Oh, okay. But I enjoyed it. it. Gave me that. It gave me that claustrophobia feel oh, that, that I hate. Also, you can't see the, the people unless you have that night vision. Uh-huh. And then they're just popping up at you. And I don't know, but I actually enjoyed watching it. I think it had a good story to it. And Great story. It was creepy. 
So that made my list. Number five. Never seen it. What? Well, you're going to get a lot of that. Movie night. Nope. Movie night. Have fun. <laughs> you can't sleep if you do that. <laughs> he sleeps at the door. Number four. This was kind of a, well, it was creepy. The Ring. It's mm, a good pick. That, that little girl coming out of the well. I thought about it. It's just one of them. I hate that look of like the, the I, hair in front of the face. I think I saw that movie in theaters like four times. Did you? Mm-hmm. What? You don't like scary movies? You went and saw <laughs> The Ring four times? I like that one. Really? He said, oh, that's quality. That's quality <laughs> film. Quality. <laughs> it's quality. Would you say that it made your list? Maybe. Okay. I like it. We'll see. Uh, number three, I went with Paranormal Activity, the first one. Great movie. That one, that movie creeped me out a lot when I saw it in theaters. Uh, a lot of jump scares. Uh, so many jump scares. But I'm a fan. You never saw it? <laughs> Dude, that's one that nope. hit you. Yeah, I'm not going to watch that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Anything that resembles, like, you, look, even if you don't believe in ghosts or paranormal activity, or, if, if it's like it looks like it could be a real thing, I'm out. Dude. I can't shut my mind off. It was. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, number two, I'm going with The Conjuring. Yeah, that was a good one. That was one of the scarier movies I saw in theaters. That's what I've heard. Yeah. yeah. Dude. Uh, <laughs> Dude. So yeah, that, that was a pick for a, a scarier one. And there's just been so many movies based like after that, mm-hmm. that whole Conjuring universe. We're going to say number one. Uh, number one, I so I'm a big fan of the Halloween franchise, mm-hmm. Michael oh, no, Myers no, no, no. franchise. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to get a pick all of them, but I picked uh, Halloween H20. Great movie. That was my favorite one. Great I think movie. you and me went and saw it in theaters. We did. Um, but yeah, it's, that's my favorite one. That's where they're at the... Uh, Is that the one with Ice Cube in it? Uh, no, it's got... um. Who's the security guard? It might... No, LL, LL Cool J. Cool J. Yeah. Cool that's right. J, that's right. Different yeah, because he's talking to his girlfriend. I, <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I don't want to say it. But, but yeah, that was one where they're like they're at the, like the oh, high school, whatever. Breath. Yeah. I don't know. That was my favorite one. <laughs> Easy wheezy. <laughs> <laughs> that's the lid. Yeah. All right, I'll get mine if that's cool. Uh, number five on my list. I'm going Saw. That's a great thought about that one great movie it, it had like like number scary one. and like number five what oh the, the first the one. first yeah, yeah yeah first one yeah it was the great. original yeah i thought i thought one through three were really good i just i like i love the stories yeah i can't remember how many i saw i mean i never saw i don't uh, remember them being bad see what you did <laughs> i can't remember how many i saw yeah uh, the old see mm-hmm. you saw one i saw one you saw two, two. <laughs> hear me out you saw three i've seen jamal oh <laughs> Um, no, I just, I, I really like the story, but, uh, man, that, that little clown riding the tricycle creeped me out so bad. Yeah. What? Mm-hmm. I get it. I'm, I'm on the same oh. page as you. Yeah. There was like, uh, to talk about like how active my mind was. You, you guys remember my, uh, bedroom at my parents' house in the oh, basement? Yeah. Right next to the, the boiler room. Yeah. There's no wonder you didn't ever watch a scary movie. <laughs> the creepiest bedroom of all time. So like, there'd be like a little light that would like. If, if I left my door open, there was like a little light in that hallway you could kind of see, and like there was kind of like a shadow projected up on the yeah. on the wall, and I was just like expecting to see like the shadow of that clown yeah. come in on the tricycle. For those of you that don't know, Dan's basement, he, in the later years, he had his bedroom in the basement, and it was the creepy. There was, it was hardly any windows down there, and it was right next to the laundry room, and the laundry room was unfinished, and it was just this little tucked away door in the corner of the basement. And it was pitch black. And not only that, it had the little window that looked underneath the house or something. Yeah, because that side of the house didn't used to be finished. So, mm. so you just looked into pitch black into windows. dirt. It was, yeah, creepy in itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe that's the root of everything. I we're, mean, that could we're be unpacking it. Some yeah, stuff yeah, you, you get a pass. Mm-hmm. Uh, number four, I'm going the Grudge. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, that made, yeah. Similar to the that. ring, a mm-hmm. lot of jump scares in that one. Jump, uh, that creepy girl, that creepy girl in the attic. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Boy. Yeah. Yeah. No thank or you. Or was it a little boy in the attic? No, it was a little girl, and they're like. Uh, at, at one point in time, she like comes out of the under the, the covers. Well, she was under the covers. There was a ton of jump scares in that one. And there was like she also like came out from the ceiling or whatever. Um, it's been so in the long. kids. Room. I saw that one in theaters. Yeah. Yeah, and then no, but but no. but that one, you know, she comes crawling down the stairs like a demented spider or whatever. No, right? thank you. And just seems like she's coming for you when you're in the theater, like in the back of your seat. <laughs> uh, I won't buy that house. Number nah. number three, I went the ring. 
Nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, one thing that was interesting about that that was really creepy was like those random like black and white scenes that like didn't have anything to do with the movie really, but they were creepy looking. Like they were actually like, on the film that you watched, like that they would watch. Yeah. 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 In the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. After you'd watch after you watch the whatever that movie was. Right. Um, my number two is House of a Thousand Corpses. That movie's so messed up. That is the scariest movie I've ever seen in my life. I think that's more because it that's, that's so demented and that's like they're actually probably people out there yeah. like that mm-hmm. i don't know if i've ever seen like it. that that very last scene where they're like underground and she's mm-hmm. trying to get out of there and she just can't be and she's underground her. oh my god that's rob Tommy, right yeah i think so yeah i don't think i've seen terrifying that. yeah rob's yeah <laughs> if you want to if you want to watch that one this spooky season go for it it's it's scary as hell okay and it's just like a demented family that it's really messed up yeah yeah uh, number one, uh, this is a nostalgia pick, and also had some uh, scenes that were really scary. Uh, Pet Cemetery, number one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Was, <laughs> oh, I forgot about that one. lady, whatever. Yeah, that was so oh, scary. Yeah. I, that's been like burned, burned in, in my brain. mind. Yeah. yeah. She was screaming her her sister's name. Uh, I always sister. thought she like was yelling like never Rachel, get out of right? bed again. Yeah, it wasn't her sister's name. Rachel. Something like Rachel. that. Rachel. Oh god, oh, that's right. Yeah. Rachel, <laughs> why didn't you help me? So scary. Yeah, that's my list. Okay, check it twice. Um, yes, <laughs> the list, <laughs> <laughs> the list that I've made. Uh, no, number five. Oh no, uh, I forgot it. I know exactly, I know exactly where, where, it where it is. <laughs> um, okay, number five. It is the descent. Oh, um, nice. I knew you guys were on the exact same list. Dude. I really didn't think anybody else would put that on the list. Oh, my God. We may have seen it in theaters. Probably. Um, Because I also, every now and again, me and Michael send each other, because I know he's super claustrophobic. Oh, very. And I'll send him pictures of our videos of people spelunking. I hate it. And it's the worst. I hate it. Just watching it gives me anxiety. Mm. How anybody enjoys doing that is beyond me. Because, like, they can't move. And like they're just wiggling through these cave systems. Oh, and I'm like, you. what if you get stuck? And, and then once they do, and they start freaking out, then their chest expands, yeah. and oh. they get stuck, and then they die. Yeah, no, thank you. Or that that uh, story and, of the guy that went head first what? down and got stuck upside down with his arms pinned to his side. I hate it. Couldn't move. Twenty six hours till he died like that. They couldn't get him out. Yeah. And for what? And you know what they did? They just sealed it up with cement, and so nobody else could fall out. They just left him down because they couldn't get him out. <laughs> Horrible. That's terrible. Yeah. Yeah, so watching that movie, they're stuck in the cave. They have to go through these little spaces. Mm-hmm. It's, And then you have things down there that want to kill you. Yep. And it is absolutely terrifying. Um, the next one, number four. Uh, this is this is one of the nostalgia picks that I said because I watched this one <clears throat> probably when I shouldn't have when I was w- younger. The Poltergeist. Mm. There he. The original <laughs> one, not the new one. Sure. Yeah. Um, and that scene where she's in her bedroom and the toys are all flying around the room and the closet opens up and everything gets sucked into the closet. Mm-hmm. Watching that as a little kid and having a closet. Good luck going to bed. And having a closet, I'm like, oh. Oh, this rich bastard had a closet. <laughs> <laughs> but you can relate to it. I'm like, I'm this little kid. I'm like, oh, fuck, I can't. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, number three, Paranormal Activity. Uh-huh. It's it's the movies that <clears throat> kind of like what you said that you can relate to the most, like that that you think could be mm-hmm. there's a possibility feasible. could happen. The one they're the ones that freak me out the most. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and watching that one, I'm like, <clears throat> those are the ones I stay away from. I oh. can watch the grudges, the rings, like that stuff's not gonna happen. That movie was so well done, <clears throat> and I think it got like terrible reviews. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I, I don't know how because they've. I think they made like seven of them. Now. They did. Oh, they I did. Think, I think it's the and highest. After the first the one, do you hear the new the newest one coming out? Mm. The one that's like about the Amish. Mm. Oh no! Yeah, there's like a, the new one coming out. It's like on set in like the Amish. How do they have security mm-hmm. cameras? I, I don't know. <laughs> We're not sure. <laughs> yeah, the the first because isn't it also like surveillance footage? Isn't that the, the that first or like one was, the I first one's the guy with the video camera? Yeah, and oh, that there yeah. is like house cameras. You're right. He sets it up. Yeah. So okay, uh, number two. Halloween H two O. It was a great one. It was um, a good one. It was a good one. Um, college campus. Again, not. I mean, I guess you can't really relate to that one. But I think when we saw it, we were. What was it? Ninety five. 
H2O? Yeah. I feel like it was like 98 or 99, somewhere up there. 95 would be young. That would have been kindergarten. Yeah. That might have been in 2000s. But they started They started really early. Didn't the I know, first but one... you didn't watch it together in 95. No. But yeah, it was the, the kill was scenes were great. The dumbwaiter. Yeah. The dumbwaiter one. Where I think the girl gets in the dumbwaiter and she's trying to get away. And I think like the was mask. Was it Josh Hartnett? Yeah. yeah. And I think his mask was more perfected in that one. Yeah. He looked great. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and then number one, The Conjuring. Watching, <clears throat> wow, four out of five. <laughs> what? what? Yeah, watching the uh, just the trailer for that. Whenever she's stay, sit, well, I think she was kneeling at the top of the stairs. Uh, yeah, and she's got the lighter or the match or match. something, and she's looking down into the dark ass basement, and then you see the mm-hmm. hands come mm-hmm. from behind her, the clap game, and clap. Oh my god! As mm-hmm. soon as I saw that, I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> this is going to be nice. when I saw in theaters and it was the thing was up on the wardrobe and jumped down. It's like, oh, my God. Nope. Don't like what that is. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One of my one of my honor- oh, honorables. Do honorables? Yeah. Got any? Yeah, I got one. I had the grudge. The grudge was one for me. That was. <laughs> you know who was in that that I found out? Um, the guy from Harold and Kumar. Harold or Kumar? Harold. Was he? He was. In- <clears throat> <clears throat> I don't remember that. Uh. I'm almost positive. Hmm. I'll have to look it back up, yeah, yeah. but, but I think so. Honorable? Mine was uh, The Skeleton Key. I never watched that. You ever see that one? I don't think so. It's like, uh, it's already like kind of creepy. It's like in a, it's like set in a Southern environment, kind of like on a plantation. And there's like, if I remember right, it's been so long since I've seen it. If I remember right, like kind of like the, like the ghosts were s- like slaves kind of a thing. And like, there was also like this, like devil worship going on in the, in the, uh, in the attic of the place. Oh. And there's I like, there's plot twists and it, it was scary. It yeah. Was, it was Worth scary. a watch. Yeah. Okay. One I had was, uh, there was a nostalgia one, the night of the living dead that was remade from 1990. Uh, I don't know. That's. I remember growing up watching that with like my cousin and my brother. It was oh yeah, had that creepy vibe, but like I don't know, it just that nostalgia. Night of the Living Dead was <clears> that <throat> the one where he puts a, a chainsaw replaces his arm? No, I think that's a uh, dead or Evil Dead. Evil Dead. That's Evil Dead. That was another growing up the chick in the in the <laughs> cellar. <laughs> I'm surprised that cre- wasn't on here, dude. That because that was like the one part that really creeped me out on that. Yeah, I was like, ah, do I like it as a whole? Uh huh. I yeah, don't know. but yeah, that. I'll tell you which one from our childhood. Well, uh, yeah, about childhood. And when it, it was only, it was it was super creepy until they actually showed the monster. Mm-hmm. You know where I'm going with this? Mm, I don't Jeepers know. Creepers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, terrifying. Very. When you can't see what it is, and then he comes out and he's got wings. And, yeah. yeah right. Kind of ruined it. That kind of ruined it. But <clears throat> yeah. Before you see what he is, mm-hmm. Jeepers. Creepers. Justin Long. Mm-hmm throwback yeah. yes i don't well, know like when the they go, was. when they go down into that Easy. and like where he lives like under the, at the very beginning oh, down the little pipe yeah and there's just uh there's like bodies like hey. on the walls right there yeah. were coarse bags on the floor yeah but he, like he like hung them up on the wall yeah too, yeah but he had but yeah because there was bones everywhere and that's how it starts it's just how it opens yeah yeah nope. yeah creepy yeah, speaking of like jump scares and stuff, the our haunted house when we were growing up, when we were kids, was really was really fun. I That's cool. Love, I, I hate oh, haunted houses. It was really good. But I used to love to go because we would all run around the front and the back and like make the people jump out and try. Uh-huh. Remember when Peter Blake got grabbed and brought inside? Uh-huh. I was like, I was like, <laughs> wow, yep. <laughs> Not getting close to that and I'm out of here. So it was like we went through the cafeteria and then it was a three three story building. Went through the first floor, the second floor. It was all decorated, everything. And then you get to the third floor and there's just nothing. It just looks like your school. Yeah. And then you start walking down the hallway and then a bright light flashes behind you, a spotlight. And uh, Jason comes out with the chainsaw and chases you out of the haunted house. So scary. It was good. I I remember I ran out of my jacket on that. (laughs) I'm out of here. My dad was like holding me by my jacket and I ran out of it. (laughs) Looking back, can you imagine if like he runs out of gas and doesn't realize it? And he's just behind you. (laughs) (laughs) I still would have been scared. Oh, yeah, probably would have ran out. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Oh, good. Good list. Good. Good. We got uh, we got we got another round of dad jokes. Dad for jokes. You guys. Um, if you guys didn't tune in last episode, uh, it's head to head. So I'm gonna sit out this round. 
Um, and Dan and Mike are going to go back and forth. Cannot laugh. Mm -hmm. Um, if you laugh, you lose, you get a point, you lose a point or get a point. Let's just say get a point. You get a point. Yeah. Yeah. Call this. You can't lose. I heard it. You want, you want honors? I'll take honor rolls. Okay. Damn it. Bad at this game. You ready? Mm Mm-hmm. What is the term for dressing up in cowboy clothes? Ranch dressing. Okay. Hidden Valley. What did the drummer call his twin daughters? Anna one, Anna two. That's pretty good. That is a good one. I have to be careful because I usually get myself. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I almost got myself. I'm trying. Okay. Over there, Wheezy. I know. (laughs) I'll laugh with the, with the audience. A three-legged dog walks into a bar, and the bartender says, what can I get you? The dog says, I'm looking for the man who shot my paw. Solid. Solid joke. That's a good one. I think it was more your, your serious face. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that one. Zero, zero. Did you hear about the chameleon who couldn't change colors? He had reptile dysfunction. That's a good one. I like that one. Oh, that's a good one. Why should you always take an extra pair of socks when you go golfing? Because you could get a hole in one. Stop. (laughs) You're going to make us laugh. The judge is losing so hard. (laughs) These are so good. I love that. I can laugh. What do you call a hippie's wife? Mrs. Hippie. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the point. The delivery is so good. That was good. How can you follow Will Smith through the snow? Oh, boy. Just follow the Fresh Prince. Stupid. <clears throat> okay. Solid. Did you know atheism is a nonprofit organization? Not a banger. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna oh, go. Oh, nonprofit. There he is. Yeah, that was a thinker. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, I got it. Oh, I did. Welcome. Mm-hmm. I got one on theme for Pookie season. Okay. How do you fix a jack o' lantern with a pumpkin patch? Okay, that's cute. <laughs> that's a cute one. Okay, I like it. If anyone needs an arc, I know a guy. I think I lost with one. Those were all really good. <laughs> Those were good. Oh, God. That Lewis? <laughs> you got one point. Yeah. Dang it. I, I mean, technically, you both laughed on the one before that, but we won't count it because it was not. Well, regardless, we both wrote Because I you. laughed, which <laughs> made you both laugh. Well, I waited for five seconds after you guys were both rolling, so. <laughs> <laughs> you can roll that beautiful bean footage for the review. What did you? What was the joke? Which one? Oh, uh, what do you call a hippie's wife? That's it. Yeah. Mississippi. Mississippi. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I really like the three-legged dog one. That was, that good. was good. Yeah. Looking for who shot my paw. Looking for who shot my paw. Hey, let us know your best dad jokes. Uh, we appreciate them. Um, but don't steal any of ours. If you do, use them during Halloween to get some candy. Oh, if anyone our age is still trick or treating, well, they got children's. Let's hope so. Pass I'll those jokes on. I'll be going as well. Mm-hmm. I'll be going. <laughs> you don't have children's. Did That's you okay. have a go-to joke as a kid? Um, I hated the people that was like, "Oh, tell a joke. I'm not giving you candy." <sighs> you know what I did, and I never understood it. My uncle Jimmy, oh, king boy. of jokes. Mm-hmm. Um, he would always. Is that what he told you to call him? Yeah, King of Jokes. <laughs> he would always say, "What did one coffin say to the other coffin?" Mm-hmm. Is that you, coffin? It's so bad. Mm-hmm. It's so bad. Mm-hmm. It's a cough. Right, a coffin. Mm-hmm. Is that you, coughing? I got you. I use that one a lot, and I'm pretty sure I got less candy because of it. <laughs> Uh, I used two. One was really bad. I didn't. Ha- I didn't have any material that year, and I would just like look in their house and say, "What's under there?" Try to get them to say underwear. <laughs> get off my property. 
Get out of here, you pervert. And then the other one was, uh, what does a witch race on? Oh, boy. A broomstick. <laughs> oh, boy. I got that from a, uh, a McDonald's Halloween joke tape. Oh, man. We I wish to pull those. out the Laffy Taffies. <laughs> we used to have those, t- <coughs> those McDonald's tapes because it'd be like, Talk, it was like a race going on. Yeah, I had that. And here, French fries trying, trying to, to catch, catch up. up. <laughs> well, that's a gem right there. Yeah, right there. Good job. Could have used that. What's that? Did you have a go-to? I, I don't remember. I mean, I remember being asked for jokes, but I'd mm. be like, I don't know. I don't really need to Do you got any this. jokes? No. <laughs> All right. It's another one of these goddamn houses. <laughs> Turn around and walk away. <laughs> Just leave. It depends what you're giving out. Uh, there was one house on the street that would give away like the king size uh, uh, you got sour ropes. First. Oh, sour ropes. Yeah. yeah. Nerds ropes. But no, they were like um, the plastic things. Yeah. Like the big plastic things were like, the, oh, they had, like oh. apple or, or watermelon. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I remember those. Sour punch. Some like sour punch straws. straws. Yeah. They would give out those. So I'm like, hey, hey, we need to go down there. My man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, is that it? And that's all? I think so. I think so. Yeah. You guys want to do another episode? Nope. Okay. That's it. That's all you get this week. See you in 2022. <laughs> <laughs> Some new material. I don't see you. Good afternoon. Good evening. And good night. Good night. See you. Bye. Cheers. Cheers. And that was a top five podcast. Find us on the socials at a top five pod. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs>